Welcome to the Restless Creatives podcast. Comfortable chats with inspirational creatives. Hosted by three self-confessed restless creatives, Lucy Hunter, Fiona Pickles and Bridget Gerling. This week we chat with Maxine Hart, an artist living in Cornwall, inspired by sea, light, trees and nature. Lucy and Max have known each other 20 years and this episode starts with these two old friends catching up. Hello. 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 Is video? There you are. Hello. Hello. I'm, on cool. I'm in the studio because I won't be disturbed in here, basically. I'm good. <laughs> really good. Hello. So Brid- Bridget has got the scarf on because she gets she's very cold all the time. <laughs> oh, unless I'm out walking and then I just get too hot. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I'm A thousand miles an hour. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. walking slowly. I know. <laughs> Get that. And, and Fiona's got a big jumper on too. <laughs> no, it's so I've so got my jumper difference. on. <laughs> it's jumper you know, it's show. So, it's lovely today though. The sun's. I've just had to put something in front because the sun was right in my face. Yes, I've had to do the same. Yeah, yeah. I can't like, tell what? you how envious I am of where you live. Mm. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I am lucky. She up really things. lucky. How long ago did yeah. you go down there? Do you know what it was? It's it's coming up to 13 years this, well, September. 13? Yeah. 13, Luce. Gosh. Yeah. So Max and I met. Yeah. Long time, nearly 20 years ago. It must be, because it was just before we had the kids. Yeah. Yeah, it was so before 20... the kids were born. Yeah, we were pregnant together at the same time. Actually, oh. Luce, it was probably longer than that, because we met at Print Design, so it was probably yeah. before, yeah, about 20 odd first, years ago. first job from uni. We went to different unis. And Max was all, Max sort of waltzed in one day. I was behind the um, <laughs> Lord. I was so bad, wasn't I? I was. I was, I, I was worse. You, yeah, but you were all glamorous and little suits. Oh, and it was all proper, and and I sort of was trying to work out how to use the photocopier and couldn't make it work. And everybody was asking for an enlargement, so I couldn't work out. Anyway, so Max was very oh, glamorous. Let and she come I'll, I'll do you, it. Lucy. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could do, though. Yeah. I got promoted to like a sales job, and I was awful. <laughs> I was awful. <laughs> we I didn't mean, really want to do awful. that, did we? we just and the only time out. I got like commission was when I'd taken over from oh, I've forgotten his name now, someone who'd gone on holiday for a week, and I got his all commission. And that's the only time. I got. <laughs> That's any time. I was on the basic pay. Yeah, we were quite poor, weren't we? Yeah, it wasn't good. Where was that? It wasn't good. But it was in Chester, that so was it was in lovely. Chester. We'd go out. We'd go out in Chester. Oh. So we had we had a great time. I was yeah. born in Chester. Yeah. Where ah. about? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So just near the Hall Roundabout. Oh. Yes. Mm. Well, that's where I had my first flat with Richard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where you, that's where Lucy was. Yeah. Really. So yeah. Yeah. Grove. This is quite um, a roundabout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were born on it and you lived there with Richard. <laughs> it's a very important roundabout. On the roundabout bridge. <laughs> a little house on the roundabout. Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> really cozy. Where everything happens. It's quite noisy. <laughs> yeah, so going into Chester after the whole roundabout, the first turn on the right was where we lived. Oh, uh, I know. Well, okay. you were just at the... Yeah, just at the... I was on the okay. main road. My brother was yeah. born in that house. Oh, wow. Where did you live then, Max? Where were you living? Oh, um, so I lived on the Wirral. Yeah, so oh, I was born on the Wirral. Um, near Burton, so the sort of South Wirral end. Um, do you know? Yeah, so near, well, I was saying near Nest Gardens, but it was, yeah, it's lovely. Oh, yeah, and it was beautiful. Hmm. So it wasn't far from, you know, Chester. And then moved to Tatton Hall, which is where we all hmm. moved to. Yeah. Um, we all sort of grew up and got houses and got married, didn't we, Luce? And had babies. And then the babies came, um, yeah. And then we moved. And then she broke the my girl... heart. She just said, "That's it. I'm going to Cornwall one day." And oh, I was devastated. yes, but she is in one of the most beautiful parts of it. Yes, she is. Just think oh, of the holidays. So what do you think of the holidays? Oh, we've been on holiday. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was That's awful weather. Like wasn't handy it? having friends who <laughs> move somewhere lovely. <laughs> we went... Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, but we went camping one year. Oh my god, the weather was so oh, bad. The weather was... It was so bad. And I was like, Max, please can we come? Can we... 
<laughs> Come on, Lisa. And then, the, and then another year, you, I mean, this amazing place, wasn't it, that you rented, but we had one day of beautiful sun and then it rains again. I think you just jinx, Luce. I know. Okay. Memo to ourselves, but... don't go holiday with Lucy. <laughs> no, no, it is true. That's, yeah, I know. But yeah, it is, it is beautiful down here. And it's, oh, I mean, every day I'm just thinking, oh, I'm so, so lucky. And it's just to see that, see the well, sea. You've got those you know? beautiful creeks and everything as well, haven't you? Yeah. It's just, yeah. it's like, it's, it's secretive. It's just, yes. Yeah. Like famous else five. On the it is famous, it is the famous five. five. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly that and um I do a bit of a gig rowing and we we go in all these little creeks you know and to explore the creeks on the water is just magical because there's no one around you know yeah. the wildlife it's just stunning yeah just takes your breath away really we go to and then you can go you know down too. the roads and you've got wild beaches as well so yeah we've got the best of both worlds really we've got trees because actually there's aren't there aren't a lot of trees in the sort of North Cornwall, as in, you know, big trees or woodlands or that sort of thing. But we've got it all down in this bit, the sort of it's, south. That's yeah. the beauty of the creeks, isn't it? You've got, yeah. as you say, everything. Yeah. You've got, yeah. and the hills. Yeah. <laughs> good yeah. walking. You definitely yeah, get Yeah, good walk. <laughs> <laughs> what all I proceed to do is walk at the moment. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Pod him. What made you move? What was that? Sorry, Kate. What made you move? Um, well, Tony, my husband, I mean, he he always wanted to get back to the sea. Um, he grew up in Devon, so he had a childhood by the sea. And um, we sort of like, let's just go for it. We had our holidays. We had a week a year in Cornwall when the kids were little before we moved. And that was fabulous. And that was enough inspiration for me to keep going for another year of sort of sketchbooks and photographs and whatever and then um it was like we we bought this holiday home which we're currently renovating actually um no we're living in sorry we bought another one um <laughs> and so we bought a holiday home and, and I was like I, I don't want to live there at home she said no no no, it's a holiday home no no no, it's just you know an investment I'm like okay okay so mm. I didn't want to move I love Cheshire <laughs> and then it was like do you know what let's let's go for it George my youngest was starting school so he was four and we're like if we if we don't do it now we'll never do you know we'll never do it let's give it a go we can always move back if it doesn't work out and we did and it's just been you know amazing amazing I mean hard you know moving somewhere new without family so we didn't have any family down here Tone's parents were two hours away so they were Exeter um but you know with kids it just helps doesn't it you just into the community and I had my inspiration on tap so it was amazing really for me mm. um yeah so we just went for it and haven't looked back really and the kids have just had a wonderful time, you know, sailing. and childhood, isn't it, really? It, absolutely, mm. yeah. Yes. And it goes so quickly, doesn't it? You know, there's mm, this know. <laughs> 10 plus years. And now they've got, you know, they're off, aren't they? Oh, I know, they've gone. <laughs> well, I'm quite, my, I'm quite. But George just said to me this morning, he's like, he's um, 17 in April. And uh, we were talking about, I was like, maybe sort of thinking about university. He's like, no, no, I'm not going to university. I'm just going to live here, Mum. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he winds me up, you know, he's just like the drop of a hat. He's like, like he winds me up. Like Tony. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely like Tony. They're so lightly. <laughs> it's me and the boys at the moment because the girls are at uni. And uh, although Meg's still here. And, and it, they just love it. They just sort of, yeah, wind me up, the pair of them. <laughs> so bring back the girls. I like when the girls saying, help me, please. <laughs> No one's talking to me. They don't talk. How many kids have you got then? <laughs> three, three. So I, I had twins. Um, so the girls are the same age as Matthew, Lucy's mm -hmm. uh, boy. Um, so yeah, they had a great time together, the girls and Matt and um, yeah. and George three years later. So the girls are, what are they, 19? Yeah. They're 20 this year. <gasps> they are 20 this year. <gasps> yes. Makes you feel very old, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Oh, you're not so, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're getting out of it. Oh. Sorry, I'm just being mean because they pick on me constantly. So, Max, Why? With... You're, you're a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she loves to just rub it in. I know, I know. She did, she did that you. with me as well. It's a bit harsh in that you just like, yeah, I was at primary school when you were at college. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's the truth. 
<laughs> Rubbing it in loose. I know. Yeah, definitely was. So now the now the girls are gone and um George's yeah. you've got far nearly more gone. time. Nearly gone. Maybe. Oh, it's just far amazing. more time to spend on your art, haven't you? Yeah. I mean last year, um, lockdown, you know, the the still lockdown. lockdown. <laughs> yeah. That we all that it's just still lockdown, obviously. <laughs> but the original lockdown, you know. Lockdown um, one. <laughs> lockdown one. I mean, my studio was next to the house, so perfect. And up till then, I was sort of snatching a few hours for you there, you know, and not really immersing myself as much as I'd like to in, in my practice. And it was just then I had permission to, you don't have to drive them anywhere, you know, you get your food shopping once a week or whatever. And I just went for it and, um, oh, it's just been amazing. So I'm sort of, you know, just gathered momentum really. And it was just the right time anyway for me. And it was sort of, um, the, you know, the, as I said, the girls had gone, George didn't need me as much. So it's just been fabulous. I'm really lucky that I have the studio here and, you know, walking distance and short drives away and my, my beautiful, you know, landscapes that mm. I take inspiration from really. Um, so it's just, yeah, I just, um, it's sort of slowed down a little bit as the new year always does. And you sort of, con you know, you just sort of take it all in and um, what's going to, what's the plan for this year. But yeah, I've got sort of a few exhibitions sketched in and um, I'm part of this Lizard Art um, Cooperative, which is really lovely. It's sort of a nice little community of artists and we have a gallery space um, in this lovely old estate um, not far away. And um we just run it ourselves. So it was about 15 of us. And that's been lovely. That's been a real, so that's been the past two, three years. So that's been a nice sort of um, hub community. for me to, mm. absolute community, yeah. And deadlines, I'm rubbish with, <laughs> you know, I sort of drift, you know, but if I have deadlines, you get the work done. So exhibitions, you know, we're all the same, aren't you? You're doing so much and you're sort of multitasking, but never really quite getting anything done. Um, so I think that, it's really difficult really nice, though actually. being creative um, isn't it I think you know you, to be creative you have to be not thinking about deadlines it's a really difficult kind of yes you know, juggling act isn't yes it? you know also, so what's done you know that's that's the thing as well as knowing when it's done particularly I guess with, with oh. your line of artistry yeah. it's just when do you say it's finished but well, yeah the same with us with flowers as well mm -hmm. it is the same so, yeah. yeah because actually the well, first few marks for me are the best you know I'm like oh that, but you can't it's just <laughs> so you either push on through and not ruin it but you will sometimes and a lot of the times <laughs> but I I you know but I suppose the same with the flower engine you're just adding more and more but the the the, the simple lines the simple um, you know, creative sort of uh, tones and space. And mm. yeah, the first few sort of ideas are just the best for me. And that's, I try and sort of in incorporate my sketches. I do a lot of sketching as a painting. So it's not a, a painting, it's more of a sketchy painting, you know, sort of quite loose. And, um, but, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just a journey, isn't it really? But yeah, mm. uh, deadlines gives you. Is, is beautiful in that it's really fluid and you do yeah. seem to have quite a paired back style, but somehow yeah. you're expressing something and making yeah. it very clear what it is you're expressing, but with just oh. a very light touch, a few. it feels. Yeah, I try and limit the palette. And I definitely have been recently. Um, and I think it's because you're immersed in the landscape more. Um, you know, I'm walking in it more. Um, and you're just trying to sort of limit that what you see, um, the colours of the season. Um, but yeah, and it's just in a few marks. And that's what I see. Um, it's not because it's overwhelming, isn't it? There's so much to and you, it's mm -hmm. like, you know, cramming it all in. But it's just those simple shapes, lines, um, marks, texture. Yeah, all sort of put in and very fresh and very fluid and quite quick you know work quite quickly and then it'll um you know I work there's a lot of pieces on the go at the same time um so they sort of all relate to each other really so as a series um how a lot of artists work I suppose and, and you work um but yeah it's uh do you find that as you sort of you know as you 
got older and I'm not being yes. Uh, but you know right. but it's become easier to use less marks to pair yourself back because you've got yeah. the confidence that you know that you can achieve what you're trying to say with with a limited palette does that make yeah, sense? yeah i think so yeah i think so but also you're aware that you don't want to just turn them out you know, it's, is it's a process of these are sort of my handwriting in a way you know these sketches is just sort of um a collection of of um of my yeah handwriting of of, of what i see um but yeah it, it's confidence isn't it you get confidence as you get older mm. and you just enjoy it i mean i've always enjoyed it um but i just uh yeah I, there's nothing better than being out painting in the studio painting um and using your tools and trying to sort of for me, it is about simplifying. I mean, I definitely remember when I was younger in art college and I'd try and put it all in and, mm. and it just mm. looked too mm. muddy, too messy. Mm. And I love that. And I've always got to think about some muddy colours. It's always got to be quite, you know, fresh water used. But at the same time, your colours are still, they're not muddy, but they're muted and but fresh, you know, at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously very earthy around the health food. I mean, it's all those sort of bluey greens and... The green landscape but those and you know all the spectrums of these colors um but yeah you know definitely it's got you have a style I suppose you create this style and people yeah. sort of say oh, you know i recognize your work it's i'm like what well, do you it was like i don't think i have a but no, you, no, you no, obviously no. do because you just yeah. you just sort of develop don't you into this mm -hmm. into your way of working really and your tools but i, I mean i love I still want, you know, experimenting. Um, mm. There's still so much to learn. You never stop learning, really, don't you? Mm. You just keep, um, which true. just, and that's being creative. You just can't get enough of it. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, really. That's if you ever, this. yeah, <laughs> yeah, learning from all our lovely guests. <laughs> exactly. I'm just <laughs> making notes. <laughs> what have you written down, Liz? <laughs> Actually, it's, really interesting. it's really Muddy. interesting to see your palette behind you there. I mean, mm. I think the the way you use those bluey greens against that kind of pinky ochery kind oh, of pink. color, yeah, it's just beautiful. Mm. Thank you. It's, it's yeah. really it is really striking because I like the colors that I don't like the most, if you like, which is kind of ironic because it's our sort of brand colors. Are sort of like bright blues and bright greens and I struggle yes. to use those and yet yours are all beautiful blues and greens but like you say they're muted mm -hmm. and and paired back and really muddy probably because I am drawn to the muddies um yeah they're just yeah. beautiful earth yeah it is it's those yeah, um subtleties isn't it that you use the sort of simple and I never really I've never really been, um, you know, have a formula as in you're mixing colours and, oh, that's how you do it and that's how you do it because so you forget. I just, it's intuitive and mm -hmm. you remember-ish and then you think, oh, how, how did I do that? And then you just think, oh, you know, I should actually be writing this down. And sometimes I do. <laughs> sometimes I'll, I'll have a little, you know, colour palette and use the colour and there it is and write down what I've used. But generally, I, I don't, and I've, I mean, that's my life, basically. It's just a mess of all kinds of things. I never remember what I've done. But it is, but you just, it just happens. You think, oh, that, that's yeah. the colour. Or you, you're, you, you move it a bit further into an... You want to make it a, different, depending on yeah, what you're doing. Slight, or how you feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's never, you know, it's never been a set formula of how I do the work. It just, yeah. And, and that's the beauty of being an artist as well. You're just mm. constantly nudging forward. Um, and finding new colours and new palettes and colours that go together and not or putting, you know, a brighter colour next to a more muted colour. Um, I, I, I do need to take more risk and I like doing that. I mean, I'm trying to work larger, but my studio space at the moment is sort of, it's like, like this. It comes, <laughs> you never have enough room, do you, ever? No. No. This is why it's lovely working outside. You know, when the mm. weather's good, um, I mean, I'll just get all my boards outside and paint, you know, out on the patio, which is great. Um, so Do you ever actually then... mix in soil and bits um, and yeah. pieces that are around you? Yeah. Yes. I mean, when I'm like, you know, last week, so when it's been sunny recently, obviously over our dull rainy days, we've had a lot of them down here recently. I'm like, right, kids, I'm, you know, all tone. I'm off. I'm going out for the day. Well, a few hours 
and <laughs> um, take my paints. And yeah, I was on um, Bar Beach, this beautiful little beach that I go to on the Helford. And, you know, uh, the sand's there, that's mixing in. Um, you know, I'll use sort of, you know, the back of a pebble to scratch in. It's just what is around you. Um, I use a lot of sometimes pigments as well, um, which have, have been bought, um, but but can can be used. Um, you know, I did a workshop with our well, primary school down the road, actually, and we, we dug up some clay and earth and all kinds and, and use that on paintings, you know. And yeah, you, you just, it's those earthy colours, you know, smudge a bit of um, something from a leaf or using the twigs to scratch into your paint. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it, really? Just experimenting, keep, yeah. Yeah, keeping curious. Keep grounded. Keep, yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, abs- you know, with, with your work as well, isn't it? It's sort of found found mm, objects yeah, absolutely. or yeah. the, nat- the more natural, the better, really, because mm. uh, mm. it's there. I mean, it's just oh, incredible, isn't it, nature, really? Yeah, <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> I know. So how I know. long does it take you to do a piece? <laughs> Is that the I don't know. I mean, question? <laughs> yeah, and also George will say, my son, he'll say, if you'll say, well, how much is that worth? I'm like, <laughs> you know, he said, but, but mum, that's He's your agent. 10 minutes. I'm like, yes, George, but it's, you know, it's your experience that, and you're, it's yeah. my, you know, how, how I've got there. And oh, one of my birthday presents, I mean, his birthday presents are classic or Christmas presents. Um, my birthday present, I think it was last year, he'd been watching, you know, Bob Ross. Oh, oh yes, Bob Ross. Yeah. Right. Oh, don't you watch Bob Ross, girls? You've got to watch Bob oh. Ross. It's Matthew's favourite Bob, Bob Ross. Anyway, Tone. Oh, is it? Oh well, Tone and yeah. Tone and George were watching Bob Ross. You know, consistently, probably to wind me up. Really, they're like, you know, Mum, this is a landscape art- artist. You know, this is a proper <laughs> artist. Anyway, George for his present bought, um, did a Bob Ross copy in my studio. He came and used to use my paints. I had a mix of oil, mix of. <laughs> Water colour, so it's all water based, it's still oil based, it's all mixed together. I don't know, and he presented it at me. And on the back was the price, taking the mick of my, uh, my prices, you know. And he's like, I'm going me off for now, sort of thing. But honestly, this painting is brilliant. But but I came in the studio and I was like, who's been in hitting this stuff everywhere? Oh. I mean, but but I forgave him, you know. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah how long does it? painting take i mean would it's you just... say you were slow or quick is all i mean i, mean, I know no, it quite quick long. sorry that was long-winded wasn't it yeah, <laughs> yeah. quite quick no. really. <laughs> yeah but but what will happen i'll have it i'll i'll initially get lots of marks down and colors and layers um and i'll and then i'll leave it in the studio and you live with it for a bit and then it you know a few more touches so I'll go back to them again, the sort of series that, you know, I'm not happy with them or, or just sort of bring it back together and bring it a bit of realisation sometimes if I want it to. Um, but yeah, quite quickly. I've always worked really quickly. Um, so give me a load of panels, a lot of canvases and they'll be filled, which, yeah. And again, that's sort of how I am in life, really. It's all a bit <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Lucy knows what that's like. Uh, I think we're all the same, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been intrigued by this because I have seen other people doing it and I'd like to know more about it. Um, but Ooh. no, it's the, in fact, I wrote it down. What's it called? The Artist Support Pledge. Oh, yes. This I is the thing that, that came well. out of the lockdown yeah. situation, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, Amazing. how does that actually work? I mean, it looked like an enormous sort of groundswell of support for artists by yeah. artists. And it was, um, it was founded by a school friend, my friend Matthew Burroughs, oh, actually. Goodness who we went to Neston High School and then we went to art school together, actually. Fabulous, um, you know, incredible artist, um, very knowledgeable. And um, it was, again, a friend from um, uni that I went to uh, to, to school with. Uh, Kate was like, Max, have you, you know, I was in contact with her and she said, have you, have you started this art support pledge yet? Which sort of more or less, Matt launched it, I think, as lockdown. It was sort of end of March, beginning of April, because a lot of artists were, um, you know, galleries had shut down. Um, how are they going to sell their work? Uh, they're, they're, you know, bound to their studios if they're looking to have studios at home. Um, and how can we sort of get this economy going for artists with, with no money, you know, self-employed, not really benefits, coming, you know, any, any sort of help. Um, and... It was very simple premise, as in you uh, sold your work 
um, no more than 200 pounds, which is for galleries. They weren't, they're not really interested in that low figure, really. They're not really making money out of it. So it didn't really affect gallery uh, galleries. Um, so 200 pounds or less. And once you'd sold a thousand pounds worth of artwork, um, so five pieces or more, if it was less than 200, you then pledge to buy another artist's work. So it's this beautiful circular sort of, you know, creating um, this sort of just helping creatives. Um, and it just blew up. I mean, it's incredible. So I didn't really, I started quite late, it's sort of May really, May time once I'd sort of got over the shock of lockdown and just, okay, you know, and getting in the studio. Um, so you just post your work on Instagram. Um, and again, this helped my Instagram because I, I sort of dabbled with it. I mean, I was in awe of Lucy's, you know. Yeah, I was like, Lucy, huh? what? How is it? Bridget what? You know? <laughs> I, yeah, but this was before I knew Fiona or Bridget. So Lucy was like, what? you know, so Instagram. And, and for me, it was really so visual anyway. So it was purely on Instagram. This was how it launched. Um, so you posted your work, you know, sold it. Um, and then, yeah, you, you just... You're, you're then, um, I mean, the amount of artists I've sort of uh, discovered um, on through the Artist Support Pledge, and it just lifted, and it's worldwide, you know. I'd be mm. sending paintings to uh, America, you know, and, and Europe, and it was wonderful. So, and that's still ongoing. So that has been a lifeline for artists. Um, Will it continue, do you think? Yeah, oh, it's wow, continuing. That's, that's really yeah, good. it's Which, incredible. You know, yeah. yeah um and you can you know you can touch on it as much as you, as you want as in you know you can really immerse in it or you know now and then but yeah I've um I've got some beautiful artwork and I now appreciate buying art you know mm. before I was sort of like well I've, I've got my art on the walls um it's and I have a few <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, you know but it was just like the thrill of, of getting some original art through the door so and also, it's easy for artists. We didn't have to frame it. It was it was sold on frames because um, framers were shut. And so you sort of did your painting and um, you know put it in the in the in the envelope and posted it off. And so just... does, does this work like a sort of honesty box? I mean, or, or is there yeah. an obligation? <laughs> yes, I mean you you're in? yeah you, you're um, you know it's sort of honesty, isn't it? Really, yeah, yeah exactly that. Um, and uh, you know, but I think because we realize you know how much support we're getting as artists then you're giving the other artists so I mean I I've, I've spent a beyond what I you know I've made because you just you you know you get addictive actually you know mm -hmm. buying buying art mm -hmm. but I can't, I can't I've, a lot of it's all being framed I can't wait to get it on the walls mm -hmm. yeah um so just incredible yeah um, and Matt's, you know, he's got an MBE. You know, he was awarded an MBE. Has he? From, Did he? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Because because oh. of this initiative. Yeah, that's wow. yeah. It's amazing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. And so well deserved. I mean, incredible. Yeah, incredible. Yeah. So yeah, that was wonderful, and that was a real um, something to, to focus on over lockdown. Um, there are some silver linings, aren't there? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and for I think as creators, I think you know we sort of came out the better in the end because you you know you can always do something you can always create can't you you can mm. always I was never bored um I remember you know I'm like, oh, so, but I, I've, yeah, I've never been bored in my life I think but yeah mm. we're, we're lucky that we can you know just sort of keep creating yeah. really and and can't we really mm. where, is, where yeah. has that come from was this something that you just were as a child just yeah She's always been slightly and mad. Doing and... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crazy. I mean, all, all, always doing, yeah. Um, and, yeah, just always sort of wanting to do everything as well. Mm. Um, but the drawing, I just love the drawing. And I, you know, it was a really good school. Um, Cheshire was really good with for the arts. You know, there was a lot of money input and lots of really good teachers. And there was amazing um, art di um, director of, of the Cheshire schools and he, uh, Dave Firmstone, and he he just really um, we set up these amazing courses on the Menai Straits, actually, um, sort of um, education centres. And we used to uh, go there, you know, twice a year. You'd go for a week or whatever with vans, you know, coaches full of materials huge canvases which I'd never painted on before so you know large scale 
printing, um, sculpting, and it was amazing. So that, you know, that was in my teenage years um, and it just you know, got sort of better and better. And they, they developed from the, going to um, uh, the Menai Straits to Italy. They sort of set up courses in Italy. So that then encompassed sort of the art his, history side. And we'd go around and see these incredible frescoes. Uh, it was based near Florence that they'd go. And I think it's still ongoing. Um, mm. uh, so for art students in the Cheshire schools. Um, mm. So that's where it just, yeah, um, it just sort of grew from there, really. Um, and, yeah, I, I just... My mum's very creative as well, you know, sort of... Well, she yeah, was doing so the she, uh, flowers. She was a florist, like yeah, yeah. And I always used to work with... Help mum out with the her wedding flowers. And Max's that wedding was wonderful. Were beautiful. Oh, they were lovely, weren't they? Mm. But, I mean, we, we did them ourselves. I remember getting up so early in the morning to do our bouquet. But they're very and wild. I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was all white. It was all yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. And it was May, so you know the flowers. Ah, oh, mm. the choice, beautiful. Um, yeah. So it's all it, it, yeah. It's just that my dad's artistic as well. He also picks up the little pencil, pe pencil sketch pad. So I think you just um, you were never going to escape it. <laughs> never going to escape it. Yeah, and yeah, I'm just lucky, really lucky actually. I find myself really lucky that I can. Um, you know, do what I love, really. Um, I, I yeah. saw you did quite a lot with charcoal as well. Do you prefer oh, yeah. painting love charcoal, charcoal? Or is it just different how you feel? Yeah, I do combine it, but I love the charcoal drawing. It's sort of really striking and a lovely material to work with. I mean, I get, I love getting messy. So, you know, you sort of cover the page and using the, you know, the rubber to sort of erase and get that negative space and draw with that. Um, yeah, I love the charcoal drawings. So yeah, that 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 always continues. Um, and try and encompass that using the charcoal in in my drawings as well, in my painting. Sorry, as well. Um, but I mean, the trees around here, you know, the 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 pines, the huge Monterey pines, they sort of lend themselves to these dark drawings. Um, I can yeah, just see some behind your left shoulder on the shelf, on the bottom shelf, with the yeah. pines. Fabulous. I know. They're always there, aren't they? Keep staring at it. <laughs> I know. They're, yeah, the, the trees always sort of creep in. Um, kids always sort of used to say, oh, mum, you don't, you're not a painter, you just draw trees. That's all you do, it's just trees. I'm like, oh, I know. But I, I can't really help it. They just, I know, that, you know, you try not to, as in horizon line, and I'm like, just do a little, oh, there it is, it's the little, <laughs> on the horizon, just floating above. Yeah, I love it. Um, yeah, but charcoal drawing, I love drawing. I just, yeah, and sepia, you know, the sepia charcoals and, um, yeah. Um, I love I the love... idea of just being messy, though, just yeah. embracing yes. the mess. Yes. Because mm. you can't truly be creative unless you just no. let yourself go and get messy. No. <laughs> yeah. no. Making a mess everywhere. Yeah, yeah. and... And I think that's, you know, I've done um, workshops with kids, small kids and older kids. And um, I think small children, they just, you just want to get messy, don't you? And as you get older, you sort of, you know, it's all mm. tight drawing and it's all a bit, you've got to let go. You've got to go large or, you know, get oh, your I love that, girls. Can we go large? Yes. 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 Go large. Go large. <laughs> Are you yeah, thinking I mean, of alcoholic? Could go large. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> large gin bowl. Yeah. The, yeah. Four straws. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be banned for years, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, can't imagine any. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> no, it's too much, isn't it? It's too, too much. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, large and and it is. It's as children, we we just get messy, and then you just sort of. Oh, but I, I I love it. I, you know, I get my overalls on. I love it. And I'm like, right, I, this is going to be a, a messy day. Messy, yeah. The overalls go on and you don't don't care, really. Um, this is why so, sometimes... Yeah, overalls. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah, then you, it doesn't matter how messy you get. It's no. Perfect. No. No. Oh, I think I need to do that. Because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a like smudgy type person. I would never draw anything intricate. It would just be a, 
a gesture or a sweep or something. Yes. So if my husband was there, he would paint every brick of a house. I would just do like a <laughs> squiggle. Yeah, that's um, great though. Yeah. 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 But that, so I you, need to you pay Fiona. Pay, you, you paint Fiona. Not really. I can't really. Watercolour. I do a bit of watercolour. Oh, lovely. Badly, Love watercolour. It's all yeah. always that gestury, messy. Mm. But now I think I need to call one of your workshops and draw. <laughs> that's Love that. hands and feet. Except no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Lucy's got an absolute aversion to dirty feet. <laughs> No. Oh yeah, Lucy. Let's just bring this back in general. slightly. Look, well, it was a yeah. question: dirty hands or dirty feet? Oh, which would you prefer? Well, the thought of dirty, uh, dirty feet. So prefer? Yeah, 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 yeah dirty choose. feet. Yeah, but dirty as in charcoaly or well, dirty this as is in the question grimy. to interpretation. Isn't yeah, it? you see, charcoal. That would be brilliant. Have you really? tried that? Can you imagine your carpets? No, no, oh no. Goodness, Lucy. no, 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 forget, you wouldn't be, no, you, you, what do you know what a car is? Why missing the point? No, this yes. is outside, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, I am, point with high, it's not dirty feet, it's charcoal feet. I've got, this is, yeah, that's, that's the next step. My drawings will be, instead of using my hands to smudge it and the feet will be, and uh, God, you could use your nail to stop oh, a bit of them. Stop, stop now. Or your little toe. No. Huh? Or the edge of your corn. <laughs> oh. Right, I think my connection's really bad. Uh. Really can't hear you. It's that it's whole like winter time. Of your <laughs> winter time feet are awful, aren't they? Oh, becomes like spring, summer. You're like, I've got to do something about my feet. That's awful. <laughs> when you put your sandals on and take your socks off. Yeah, it's not good, is it? No, they get that first. It's a bit like out when in. lockdown ends. I mean, the outfits will come out. I can imagine the clothes coming out. You're just going to wear every outfit that you haven't worn. And you're going to have to put shoes on. I mean, I've worn yeah. slippers for about yes, two slip- and a half years. It's slippers <laughs> or wellies, wellies, isn't it? Yeah. Wellies or slippers, exactly. Or Crocs. Yeah, Crocs no, it's, boots. Yeah. it's not good, is it? It's not good. No. It's not good. No. So has yeah. your style changed during lockdown, would you say? um uh colors yes i think um and i think they they did get a bit muted but i think it was more noticing the seasons because i was out walking all the time not that i wasn't walking but i was just longer walks and noticing it maybe mm-hmm. um being a bit more dark and you know that sort of thing not probably not but but i think just time to actually look at my work rather than okay i have i have a day a week or or an hour here snatched here to do some work for you know a deadline I would you know I, I was in here every day you know painting mm-hmm. and then have tea and then I'd come back in so I'd have more time to sort of develop and and that's what sort of had changed over lockdown just having that that time um and experimenting you know I was sort of getting them um, mono printing out um pr- printing um using inks uh, pastels you know everything that's h- at hand um, and then ordering more stock through, you know, thank God for the post, really. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, just using what I have in, in the studio. So that sort of changed, just, you know, experimenting, really. Mm. Um, you keep that going forward, do you think? Do you think yeah, definitely. Good? Yeah, I I feel sort of now, um, you know, yeah, I, I want to be in here like the same, you know, full time. Um, so I am, I am sort of escaping more frequently, not that they need me, but we're sort of renovating a house at the moment. So it's, it's all a bit of push and pull. It's sort of, um, I want to be painting, but we're trying to get the house all sorted as well. Um, Just got to go and paint something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that painting of a wall is just like, oh. So you should do a Lucy and do a beautiful mural. <laughs> oh yeah, I used to do murals. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. Yeah, you yeah. I was um, all sorts, didn't you? I yeah, I was a mural. Yeah, yeah. that was um, that was painting. sort of after print designs actually. Late, mm. yeah. I sort of went on my own really, and um, mm. hadn't painted for ages. Mm. Um, and I was like, this is ridiculous. You know, I love it. So we, I left print designs. I think probably at the same time as you did, didn't you, Luke? Mm. And so I think um, I was pushed a little bit earlier. I think they were waiting to push me. <laughs> we were both useless. We were both useless. We it really wasn't were. Our, it wasn't our calling, was it? We Not had really. Better things no. to Sales, do. Sales, awful. <laughs> Course, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I um, I sort of had ex- exhibitions, and then 
started mural painting and that was amazing really um i sort of used to work for um a company that set uh, installed kitchens mark wilkinson i think they're still going actually mm. and it was in the day when everyone had murals above their arga or mm. in their kitchen and the swimming pool the swimming pool that was a massive job that i did that in the swimming pool and that was just awful i mean it was so hot <laughs> just me on my own painting this huge wall and i'd said to them because they said oh i said you want the ceiling in they're like no 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 and then i painted so i was like well it would look great, but that's fine. So I painted all the walls of the surround, finished that. And then they said, actually, we'd like the ceiling. Maybe <laughs> going like, anyway, I sort of, I remember ordering the scaffolding that went across the swimming pool, you know, quite narrow, really. And obviously the height, and it wasn't, I couldn't stand up, so I was sort of crunched doing, <laughs> oh. and it was like a Michelangelo, but it was the sky. So it was, the whole ceiling was sky. And um, oh, it was awful. I hated it. I hated it. <laughs> doing it and I cried when I finished finished the ceiling I was yeah it was relief. awful it was so I could have died falling off it and anyway oh, it was a relief but I um yeah never no more swimming pools after that it was awful but I, I, I mean it's hopefully it's still there <laughs> but yeah murals are, murals are, are great they're great yeah. the whole tromp tromp mm-hmm. little mm-hmm. they're lovely I've got some questions for you oh oh Quick glasses fire. On. yeah I can't oh, read okay so quick fire yeah okay yeah cake or pie oh i knew that would get you i knew it oh god i know which cake really you used to be a pie girl well i still am a pie girl <laughs> but depends on the cake really i mean can i not <laughs> can I have pie pie then cake but then feel really sick yeah exactly P- uh, yeah. pie Pie. Pie? I pie. pie. Okay. Big party or small gathering? Oh. Oh. Loose. I mean, <laughs> all of this. It's just being evil, I mean, big isn't party. She? At the moment, a massive big, party. Huge I mean, party, yeah. It's my big year this year, so massive party. I don't think oh, it's going to happen. Oh, yeah, you're the same age as Richard, aren't you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's going to happen. 5-0. <laughs> right. Thanks, Luce. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you, we're, you're, we're older than you. We're all older than you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. Bath or shower? Shower. Okay. Boat but, or but plane? I love a bath. I love a bath. Go on. Boat or plane? Boat. Oh, I feel so sick on a boat. Yeah, put, I mean, what boats? I'm thinking of a little... <laughs> Little rowing boat, not a massive <laughs> that's what cruise liner. <laughs> no. yeah, but you're not going to go if you're going on a plane. You're not going to okay, go on well a little tiny rowing set boat. Up. Are set you? up a question. Okay, oh. Max, you're going on a long well, journey. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, that, exactly that. <laughs> that's not the game, girls. It's no, it's, to be you're right, Lucy. It's just interpret as you wish. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. A little rowing boat, Lucy. Not a big right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Right, hopefully this one will be simple. Okay. Ketchup or brown sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> oh God, because I like both. I sort of have it. Oh, it depends brown... what you're having it with, doesn't it? Yeah, mm. exactly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> ketchup. Ketchup goes with everything, but the brown sauce, just that little edge, just adds a little spice, doesn't so it? So what would you have the brown sauce with? A bit of egg. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But bacon butty, red sauce. I, I'm quite surprised because I thought brown sauce was a northern thing. I'm not, yeah, but I'm not northern. You, northern. You <laughs> I mean, if you'd said, okay, if you give me a question, mushy peas or processed peas, I'd say mushy peas because that's northern, oh. isn't it? Frozen peas. Oh no. I know what no, you mean. I, I mean, I'm, I'm proper northern, but I'd always go frozen peas. Oh, would you go brown no, sauce? Oh, mushy no, peas. Fiona. Yeah. Fiona, you ketchup or brown sauce then? Well, it depends. Oh, nice. I'm ketchup with bacon. <laughs> But I'm brown sauce with sausages. Yeah. Unless it's oh, a sausage contrary. sandwich, in which case it's ketchup. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe it's a sandwich, isn't it? I think it's what an about, open yeah. sandwich, brown sauce, because it's that little sort of, yeah. Oh. I've never had brown sauce. Oh, <laughs> You've never lived loose, loose. I'm glad you said Get that, Lucy, because the... I don't like it. I knew that. You see, we're both, I'm, yeah. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I was going to say we're something. Fine. <laughs> yes, yes, we're very BBC. <laughs> My husband's southern and he eats brown sauce. Yeah, no, I know. I know, it's just a kind of belief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Maxine's looking a bit, a bit like, what's happening? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there she's used to be. Right, I'm sweet used to or it. sweet. I just or zone out loose talks. <laughs> what? Sweet or what? Saucy. Salty. No, salty, not saucy. Oh. <laughs> but let's try saucy. <laughs> sweet or saucy? I'm... That's just wishful thinking. Oh, sweet or saucy is a good question. <laughs> yeah, sweet or saucy. Are they both the same thing? No, salty. Right, what did he say? Sweet, sweet. or salty? Salty. Um, I'll no, translate. Think of popcorn. <laughs> oh, I know. You see, God, this is just like... I want both. I do yeah. like the you popcorn You have to mix those both. up. Yeah. You know, and salty. that was a revelation. Lol loves the sweet and salty, salty, salty popcorn <laughs> when it's in one bag. Love yeah, that. Yeah. So both, sorry. All right, then. Gosh, that was very stressful. That was hard. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do one word answers either. And, and, no. no, they're all... We yeah, don't want no. you to. <laughs> no. That's no, the purpose fair. of them, because it, it draws out all sorts of interesting things, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. If someone did actually go, yes, yes, no, it'd actually be like, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> we need to kill another five minutes. <laughs> more questions. It's more to find out about you than killing time. Well, I'm, very, I'm so undecisive. I, uh, oh my God, give me choice. Oh, I can't do it. I absolutely yeah. cannot do it. I want everything. <laughs> And, and, and I want nowadays now. there's so much choice, isn't there? There's so yeah, much. there is. Yeah, I can't too deal much. with it. I can't deal with it. Yeah. So what do you do? Know, Just I... switch off from it completely. Can't, well, can't you know, deal with it. So don't. Yeah. Well, because you know we're doing this house up. It's sort of like colours. What you, what colour we're painting the kitchen? I don't know, just. I know, sort of, but and then you choose it, and then you're like, I haven't got it right. I don't know. I haven't got it right. And then you're still looking at other colours, and then even when it's on, you think, Oh, I still don't know. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> but that's so interesting. So you struggle with that, yet you're yeah. so decisive with your paintings. Yeah. I know. So, so I, I don't, you know. Because I I, no, because I, I know what I'm trying to create, you know, in a way. That mm. feeling, the so simplicity. It's an emotion. It's the yeah. emotion you're trying to keep. That... Whereas the kitchen is just the kitchen with a, <gasps> and you're not that invested, really. It doesn't really. Well, I am because it means a lot and I've got to yeah. get it right. I think it's, I know, I know because I, that is, that's completely contrasting, is it? Because I'm a perfectionist. So, but mm. my, but my painting, it's just that. Yeah, it's sort of intuitive or, yeah, mm. that's poles apart, isn't it? That doesn't make sense, that, but yeah. No, right. it does. No, it does. It does. It does. Yeah. But well, no, no there's also is. an element of trying to please everybody when you're painting the kitchen. You don't want to put anybody off. You want everybody yep. to feel comfortable in that space. Yes. Whereas when it's your painting, it's you for don't me. care what anybody else thinks. No, it's, don't care at all. That's what art yeah. is. You're doing yeah. something yeah. for yourself, really, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. You're, you're indulging it yourself. <laughs> You're right. You're yeah, exactly right. Um, yeah, no, it's that. Yeah. Oh. Where, what do you see happening after lockdown? There will be an after lockdown. I'm assured there will be an after. So, Who's do you think you'll just carry that? I, mean, I don't know. I think it's just wishful thinking, actually. But um, <laughs> spring. Has... Yeah. I know. Oh, I mean. Do you I think want, you'll I'd just like more? Do you think? Oh yeah. Do more exhibitions? Have you got exhibitions yeah. planned? Yeah um yeah I'll uh, yeah and and also I want to do more workshops I've missed sort of you mm. know little painting groups that I'll I work with and yeah is I love mainly with schools or is that yeah some know, with too? schools and some little art groups sort of local mm. art groups who were just lovely mm. and um and also just sort of maybe setting up you know painting courses down here and traveling I'd love to travel more um, you know, I haven't travelled enough, really, and yeah, I, I'd like to travel and you know take my painting uh, with me, really. Mm -hmm. um, sketchbook traveling, the beauty of um, online now, you know, mm -hmm. is you can take that with you, can't you? You can have painting courses abroad if if people are with you, or or sort of um, you know doing online, really. So and documenting it yeah it's just it's just endless isn't it really but mm. yeah I mean I'm I I will take you know I'll I'll just develop my work further really and um and have more exhibitions uh because yeah it's uh it's, it's sort of 
you know, the kids are, will be settled and that's it. I've got my freedom, so to speak, mm. back and no one to answer for. <laughs> Apart from Tone. <laughs> Apart from Tone. God. <laughs> no, he's he's going to be, um, yeah, he's going to be my framer. That's that's the plan. Oh, is he? He's going to. I don't think he'll be very good, though. <laughs> no, I can't see Tone as a framer. <laughs> no, and I'll be like, that's not right, Tone, so no. He wanted to be a chef, didn't he, at one point? Yeah, yeah, he is my chef, yeah. Yeah, weekends. He's my weekend chef. I'll do the week weeks cooking, and then he takes over the weekends. I love the weekends. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's a difference yeah, in the light. To... Yeah, you can tell them. Is there a difference yeah. in the yeah. Cornish light too? Mm -hmm. I mean, the Moss Big is like Cornwall's really renowned for its light. Yeah. Isn't it? It's quite blue, isn't it? Down yeah, there. I think it's blue. It's really blue, blue. Um, and bright. Um, mm -hmm. You know, on on the light days, but sort of diffuse. Yeah, a bit of both, really. Uh, bouncing off the water um really pure yeah mm. yeah it's wonderful i mean st ives is incredible mm. um you're surrounded by mm. by the light there with this sort of island that it's on um mm. yeah it, it's and also down here you can go to sort of you know you feel like you're going on holiday if i go to st ives you know it's, it's only about half an hour away but it's oh, just really? it's mm. wonderful you know you just sort of because you stay in your own little area i mean i'm near falmouth um and yeah, going to the north coast is like, oh, this is, you know, it's so different. The wild beaches, huge, big beaches. And then, um, yeah, St. Ives or Penzance. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it, they've got all their little sort of communities are all slightly different, um, but equally wonderful and inspiring. Um, all the little, you know, fishermen's cottages. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's a great place. But yeah, you don't need to go far to feel like you've had a nice little break away, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are miles away you know we're down the bottom you know that's the only drawback is we're so far away from everywhere mm. um you know it's two hours to get out of the county especially down from down here but you know it's sort of upside as well you know we're quite away from everyone <laughs> and you don't you don't need it nowadays I need my little city fixes now and then but now the mm. girls are at Bristol that's my little fix mm. and then uh, I'm back home you know to to the country and the yeah. sea um yeah. and i think that's maybe that's age as well you don't need it as much do you the sort of mm. the mm. the thrill of the city um the busyness it's great mm. busyness yeah i don't i don't need that anymore um just happy with my own little company and and painting walking with my dog really <laughs> sounds what fabulous. dog have you got a cocker spaniel <laughs> bailey <laughs> and he's nuts uh yeah he's five now and he's uh yeah he needs his walks so two walks a day uh but he's just he's great great company i mean he follows me everywhere they all do don't they the dogs yeah yeah so yeah um he sniffs me out you know wherever i can be but yeah he's great and it's great to just you know have that purpose to get up and out in the morning in all weathers really and i think that's been great inspiring my work you know so I'll take so many photographs as well as a little sketchbook with me if he allows me to stop and do a quick sketch you know normally he doesn't and he barks and barks you know does he bark yeah it's like having a child <laughs> hanging on pulling your arm come on because he knows that the book sketchbook's out and he's just oh. like no and I'm like go on and he'll go on for a bit and he'll come back so oh yeah yeah so when um, I'll go painting, so if it's sort of combined with a walk uh, with him, then I'll take his ball and I'll say, well, I'll do a few marks, throw the ball. He'll go and, you know, a few more marks. He'll come back with the ball, drop it. He, he drops it right next to me, throw it again. A few more marks. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just like, this is usually why the sand in, you know, in, <laughs> in your painting. Drawing, yeah. And he'll marks. walk over it. But I quite like, yeah, yeah, four marks. But I quite like that, you know. But yeah, it's uh, it's not a relaxing, draw, you know, day. <laughs> so it is usually I'll go and walk him, and then I'll go and go, go for and paint. It. Yeah, for a yeah. bit of peace. <laughs> but it's yeah. great though, you know. And he's he's fab. Holidays. Let's look forward to summer holidays yeah, exactly. and drinks on the beach mm. and shared yeah. straws. Yeah, <laughs> shared if, straws. If that's what you want, Bridge, then we'll go. And well, then massive. we'll know that freedom has returned. We can yeah. share yeah. a straw with someone. Yeah, <laughs> share a straw. Oh uh, yeah, and dance. I really miss dancing with everyone. Dancing. Put the same hand into a bowl of peanuts or somebody else. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I've never been like, never liked that. No, well, really. not in a bar, obviously, but with friends. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like never take the mint imperial on the counter when you. No, know, I the... think twice about no. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah. Yay. Yay for parties in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds idyllic. And doing our big charcoal drawings with our feet. With I'm, our really gonna, I'm really going to do feet. that. <laughs> Luce, I'm going to send you a photo. I'm going to, I'm going to do some, honestly, I'm going to do, that's the next Instagram post will okay. be my charcoal foot. We Promise me to you won't cut your toenails before you do it though. Oh! Be better. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know why I said that. That's quite the That's just <laughs> awful. I'm gonna see though what happens. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do it. Oh, <laughs> love this woman. <laughs> who, who needs a conventional pencil, Luce, when you've got a dirty toenails? Oh. <laughs> You're just awful, you two. All of you. <laughs> oh dear. Well, lovely to meet you. And yeah, yeah we'll, really we'll meet in person. Too. We'll yes. meet again. Yeah, it's a date. We'll meet again. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, put me on your list. <laughs> You're at You're the top. On the list. <laughs> Thanks, Lucy. Lovely to meet you. Take care. And you. Okay. Thank you for chatting. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. You've been listening to the Restless Creatives podcast. To ensure you don't miss our next episode, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Restless Creatives podcast. If you would prefer to listen rather than watch us, you can catch us on your favoured podcast provider.